I am designing uh, this new dashboard for this uh, board. And one part of this is a fuel gauge that is going to this hole. So today we are talking about fuel gauges and senders. It's supposed to be a part one for the project of this dashboard. So subscribe to see uh, more. Well, probably actually part two, because in one of my previous video, I will put the link in the description below, I repaired the lens on the old Tahoe gauge and it's going to here. So it belongs to this panel, so probably part of the project. I have not decided yet. Uh, guys, do your comments, please subscribe. Otherwise, I don't know if I need to share this kind of content with the world and make these efforts. So I'm doing this for you. Uh, what exactly we will discuss in this video? We will compare two gauges, identical gauges. Sounds odd? Yeah, you will see why. We will take a look on senders. We will do a kind of test, wiring and test of them. Probably something else, I don't know yet, depending on how long is this video will be. Uh, yeah, it's a big project. Let's see. When you want to buy this kind of stuff, the gauges and the senders, especially for fuel, you should only consider two companies. Yes, guys, let me be that bold with you. The company which is called Wima or Wema, I'm not sure. And the company that is called Kus. So, uh, I don't know uh, who copied from whom and when. I got very vague uh, response from Wima when I asked them about it. Uh, this Kus, you should know them, that is corporation. So, they say that they produce this stuff over 30 years. You can watch their website. You can understand that is the reliable company. As well as this one, they tell that they're producing since uh, 87, if I remember right, on their website. So, I don't know who initially designed these things, but they are almost identical. Inside, they are definitely identical. So, uh, let's take a look on this model of the gauge. You can see part numbers in the left uh, top corner. Yeah. Then you can see it here. Well, it's better, I think, to compare this way. Yeah. Uh, then, content of the package. Yeah. Resistor and some wires. And instruction. And guys, look on the instruction, on the top side of the instruction. Okay, let me put the second one here, along with that one. Yeah. Some difference only here. Also, look at this picture this picture. So we can see this kind of tap on Wima, but it's not exactly the same on Kus. Yeah. But anyway, guys, either of them, you can buy Chinese junk, uh, no name or pseudo brand from AliExpress and probably uh, next day you will get uh, the lens uh, with water inside. I don't know. It's up to you. So, these two companies. But guys, when we discuss and when you, we think about fuel and the senders, please, no, no name or pseudo brand from AliExpress or other junk from China. Only brands. You deal with the fuel. We'll get back to them later. The price. So, this one cost... Um, almost 35 pounds, yeah? And this one was 30 on Amazon D. This was brought directly from the UK. This from, from the German Amazon, yeah? 30. Around 30, let's say. Bezels. They are integrated, I think, not removable. You can see ceiling also well, maybe it's integrated, maybe not, but it is there. 
this cup, uh, or how you call this, maybe cup, I think you can put it from either direction depending on the thickness of your panel, but we have all the information here. Uh, here is the gasket is like O-ring, and you can see the bezel is also, I think, also integrated, I'm not sure, uh, but uh, it's quite... Uh, not much difference in the diameter, so it might be uh, difficult to make the right hole. You should make precise hole. In my case, I have pre-drilled holes. I ordered them to be pre-drilled. Yeah, I would prefer a little bit uh, smaller for this one gauge. And I think I will install this because of this chrome, nice chrome bezel. So, I think uh, nothing more to say about them. Let's go to the senders before we do a kind of wiring and tests. The senders. First, let's take a look on the kus. Take a look and forget. Yeah? Why? You will soon understand. So, I have it uh, here for 38 euros. I bought it here locally for 38 euros. Probably I don't remember why this one. I don't have much details about it and I don't want to research. Probably it was the first one that I bought here. Uh, but then I bought uh, Wima. And again, another difference when you buy the product from brands, you can get really good support. You cannot get any support from China. So, um, yeah, and I bought, yeah. Uh, two 200 millimeters, one 150. Well, we don't uh, discuss a lot about the length. They are going to be installed in these tanks. It will be the part of this project, so please subscribe to see it. If you have these tanks, uh, you probably want to know how uh, you uh, install them there. So, one of them is uh, 100, uh, uh, we do it, no, no, 100, uh, 0, 10 volts, output for 72 uh, pounds. That one you probably never need uh, to use. Uh, this I bought for experiment to connect it to the eye socket and read uh, the value remotely through eye socket. But when you want to provide information to gauges, you need, uh, in case of Europe, 0, uh, 190 ohms, yeah. And I bought 150 length high resolution for 47 pounds and 200 millimeters high resolution for uh, 52 pounds. So that's about prices and senders. So here we, we have this 0 to 10 volts for ADC connection. You can understand this by three wires and you can read how to connect it. Yeah, it comes with two gaskets. Yeah, that is how it's built. Everything is solid. Yeah, the same like in Kus. Well, and of course we can trust this certified product. Please keep your hands out of no name, pseudo certified, pseudo brand Chinese stuff. So yeah, it might also be made in China, but it's different story. Let's uh, take uh, 20 millimeters, the normal one uh, with uh, up to 190 ohms and connect it. Well, guys, uh, wiring, it's quite simple, very simple, except one odd things in the user manual. It says that extra circuit for 24 volts, but they still draw this resistor for the 12 volts. They should have been done a better picture here. So, otherwise you connect, the, uh, yeah, and you uh, pl uh, connect it through the uh, ignition uh, Switch, right? Is it? Yeah, I think it is. Is it called ignition? I think so. So, but in my case, on my board, I will use a separate uh, switch for the gauge. Uh, you will see this in next uh, parts of 
this project where I will also show you how I connect this nicely with Deutsch connectors. So, uh, positive to the red one. Here we have red one from the gauge and it's connected to the power supply 12 volts. Uh, grounds, blue for ground. On the center you also have blue to the power source combined. So, blue for ground, blue on the sender, and uh, to the negative side of the power supply. Uh, black one is responsible for the sensor, for the sender. Yeah, so you have black one on the sender, black one on the gauge. It's not the negative, it's for the sender. Actually, when you have this ADC0, to 10 volts sender, you also have black for the sender. Yeah, I think it's a kind of standard. Honestly, didn't research much. So, it's simple. Plus, negative, sender, connected, done. Then you have option about the um, light, lighting. Yellow or red cable, yellow or red lighting, yeah? Yellow or orange cable, okay, well, doesn't matter. You plug it to the plus yeah in my case at the moment we connected uh, yellow one and we have a kind of ambient lighting uh, when you have light sun you don't care about the lighting right so you want your lighting in the night time okay and that is when i think you want less brightness right you're driving and you watch this you don't want much light to your eyes and in my opinion this what they call yellow it's a kind of orange ish or ambient uh, you don't see the same on the screen like i see really here here it's much nicer so and um, i think you want this one and not the rent one which is too bright let me show you this. It's too bright. Uh, again, you don't see the same like I see in real life, but it's too bright. And a little bit uh, nervous. Yeah, so, yeah, because everything is red. You got the point. You decide yourself. Now, let's see how it works. Uh, when you switch off power supply, you have a needle here, yeah, that's fine. You switch on, you, the needle is restored to the position of your of fuel tank. And here, when we have it totally empty, it's a little bit below zero. When we have it totally full, it's, yeah, here, yeah, we have it not actually totally full, more or less okay. Then we have it in the middle. Well, let's do here in the middle. Yeah. So, about the middle, I guess. I don't want to check. Anyway, when you do your own project, I think there will be some deviation and you will need to learn uh, your gauge, how it corresponds to the sender and your tank to understand what is your real situation with the fuel and this is remember high resolution high resolution sender it means that you can see it's like more precisely look for example when i move it i moved it but needle didn't move yet right well now it's moved yeah so again and it's a kind of steppy yeah, so uh, with high resolution, I will try to explain simple, I don't know. So with high resolution, for example, w with lower resolution, for example, you make this movement, nothing happens with the needle. Yeah, uh, no, 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 let me, let me try a different way. With, with low resolution, for example, you make this movement and you have uh, the movement of, of the needle. Uh, 
on the big value for example with higher resolution you make small movement and you make and the needle make small movement too so you see it more more precisely with more steps did i explain clear let me know in comments i don't know well you can google and search for better english who can explain you better way so guys i think that's all let's just uh, compare uh with the light uh, with the lighting on this one and because they are interchange interchangeable i will just oops unplug it from here let me do this in real time with one hand so that you can see that things are compatible okay and we can see this red lighting it's a bit different i would say that here on vima the lighting is nicer everything leads yeah so okay let me show you the ambient one too much light here around but still that one yeah it's kind of orange or yellow ish but it's actually not that one as i can see uh yeah so and again okay let's do full bottom and full tank yep quite similar guys i think that's it about the senders and um, the gauges again think twice before you buy some junk uncertified junk check uh, so you you basically working with electricity near uh, your gasoline tank yeah you don't want anything to be blown yeah so look how solid is this construction well uh let me think about what else do i need to put in this video guys i think that's it actually about uh, uh, the gauges and senders basic things the next project is quite interesting but first of all i want to say you that uh, i think i will use wima it corresponds to all uh, other gauges that i have here with black bezel and i think the ceiling uh, is be still better here at least in my case so next project if you own the outboard like that one where you don't have fuel sensor integrated you want to integrate them to your gasoline tank and that's what i'm going to do i have quicksilvers different uh, uh, volume and that's what I will be doing with the right stuff and it will be covered uh, in some of the next part along with uh, things about wiring using Deutsch connectors so ask me also in comments what exactly you want to see so that I'm prepared and uh, I hope you like it and subscribe thanks bye